good morning. The sun isn't up yet. It's still cool. Um, but I wanted to uh, go over something with you. Um, this is our hydroponics test. And as you can see, the cucumbers are doing great. The um, tomato has started to recover. Uh, there are... Um, earlier this season, I noticed that many of these leaves were turning yellow, almost white. And uh, I did some research. Um, because of the way I'm doing the nutrients on this, I'm trying to keep very careful track of the nutrient deficiencies. And um, one of the nutrient deficiencies that I started noticing was that these leaves were turning, the new leaves were turning very yellow, pale, very pale yellow to white. And that is a sign of a nutrient deficiency for sulfur. So um, I decided, I figured out that I have got to have more sulfur in here because of the way that this was working. And I started adding sulfur like a quarter teaspoon at a time and the plant simply was not recovering. Um, it started to, it started to um, get a little bit more green on the, the center of the brand new leaves, but it really was not doing well. Um, so I did some, I did some additional research and it was sulfur. It, um, the, and I figured, well, I'm not adding enough. So I added more and it still didn't help. Then I realized something. Um, I, I stuck a stick down in the water and the water was barely touching the leaves um, or the roots of the tomato. Uh, the cucumbers have climbed down into the water no problem, but the tomato wasn't keeping up with the drop in water level. And so the nutrients that were there it was not able to access. So I added additional water to bring it back up to just a little bit over half. And now you can see that the um, leaves, these are the new ones that were coming out. They, they still have the yellow because that's um, what they had when they um, started coming out. But you can see that the new leaves right here are completely green. So this is now getting enough sulfur. Um, and then I noticed another issue um, that the leaves of the cucumbers now there are probably a number of different nutrient deficiencies here and this is something that I'm testing and figuring out as I go. Um, the edges of the leaves were starting to fade. Um, you can see just along the edge. Um, this yellowing in the center hadn't started yet but it was just starting to fade along the edge. And I did some additional research again or looked through my previous records, and it appears that this is a potassium deficiency, which makes sense um, since the potassium and the, um, what's the other one? Anyway, the potassium is needed a lot more when the flowers are blooming and fruiting. So um, as a, I added some of the additional nutrients um, we're gonna, I'm going to keep an eye on this and make sure that this doesn't continue. This particular nutrient deficiency starts on the older leaves. Um, the sulfur deficiency starts on the newer leaves. So um, I need to find a good source for sulfur that I can use, that I will be able to access even when I cannot get Epsom salts. So um, that's something that I'm working on. There are a couple of possibilities there. But... Um, Anyway, the new leaves um, appear just fine, um, and the older leaves, this, this, these dark green ones, these are when they had lots and lots and lots of nitrogen right at the beginning. So, um, but as the, I need to keep an eye on this and make sure that the older leaves um, continue to recover. I'm guessing that there's some other nutrient deficiencies. Um, as I said, I am um, working out the details of these, these nutrients, and it's going to be a process figuring out how much of each substance that I need to put in in order to make this whole thing work. Um, it seems to be doing great. Um, you can see that we've got female blossoms. Um, we've got male blossoms, stem right there. Um, the tomato is recovering. Um, 
We've got some fruit developing down here. If I can find one. Okay, so we've got some some fruit starting, um, but without the potassium, it it can't um, develop fully and it can't develop correctly. So um, I put some more potassium in there, and I will keep watching it. But for now, it appears that it's doing okay, um, even if not great. The uh, so when I um, when I do this again. I know that I need to add sulfur right up front, and I need to add potassium once the um, once the fruiting starts. So um, that will give me a better place to start on the next test. I will talk with you later.